David and David here. One of the most common questions we get is, what are the best phones under $500? Well, in this video, we are going to answer that question. Yeah, let's start with the iPhone SE2, $399. Great phone, same A13 processor as the iPhone 11 series. A really good phone for kids because it's small, compact, and durable. And relatively yeah. inexpensive compared yeah. to the newer ones. I like this phone, but it's kind of like the iPhone 6 SSSSS. I mean, it's, it's the same form factor as the iPhone yeah. 6 was, but with really powerful insights. I like this phone. It's relatively affordable. It's a great way to get into the Apple ecosystem for not a lot of money. Yeah, one potential drawback for you is that the uh, screen size is only 4.7 inches. That might be too small for some people as, you know, screen sizes just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. So if you want a bigger display, it might not be the best choice for you, but the iPhone 10 might be a good choice for you. Right. And this is where we can talk about, okay, $500 to spend. Do I really need to get a new phone from the manufacturer, from a carrier? And the answer may be no to that. I've purchased phones on eBay before. eBay is a little bit spottier sometimes than like Amazon. But if you read the reviews of the sellers, you can find some great deals on phones like the iPhone 10 for way less than $500. It's a great phone. I had the iPhone 10 for a while, and I mean, it's it's about as good as the iPhone 11, really. Yeah, it's pretty much the same phone. I mean, it's about as good as the iPhone 12. The iPhone 10 was the revolutionary change. Mm. The iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10 were essentially released, you know, within a month of each other. So the iPhone uh, SE2, whoops, hitting the overhead cam, is like the iPhone 8 in terms of size. Yep, 5.8 inch display, only has 64 gigabytes and 256 gigabytes of storage space. Might be an issue you're taking a lot of 4K video, but probably not. 256 should be enough for most people. Yeah, totally. Yep. Next phone, an Android, the Google Pixel 4a 5G. 5G. Yes, yeah. a lot of words. <laughs> Lots of letters, on and on and on. numbers. Yep. This is a great phone. It's a relatively new phone. It was released in October of 2020. Yep. yep. So not too long ago. Has the 5G capability. Google did a really good job of building in a system on a chip designed for 5G. I'm going to stop talking like a tech nerd, nerd, and just say that it has great battery life for a 5G phone. Yep. A lot of great integrations with Google Photos, you know. Yep. They're free storage. Going, yeah, free storage. Actually, they're getting rid of that, aren't they, though? But you, maybe you're thinking, okay. Pixel's been out for, what, six months now? Maybe I should just wait for the 5A, 5G. 5G. Uh, that's probably not going to come. According to John Prosser, there's a chip shortage. 5A, 5G might not, just might be canceled. This phone starts at $499. Yep. Really solid Android phone. Yeah, it's a great phone. Next, let's talk about a couple Samsung phones, the S10 and the A51. So S10 is kind of in the same bucket as the iPhone 10 was that we recommended, and that you're probably not going to be able to find it new because they don't really sell it anymore new, mm -hmm. but you can go to eBay or Amazon and find a used phone for a lot less than $500. And there were a lot of complaints about the S20, which was the next generation. Currently, we're in S21 land. And the S10, to me, felt better than the S20. So yeah. I prefer that phone. I prefer the S10 to the S20, and I think it's a great deal on a phone. Yeah, $368 on Amazon. Some of the S21 phones get, get expensive real fast. So yeah. if you're looking for a cheaper option, that's a way to go. The yep. A51 costs $499 on Amazon. And when you're comparing these two phones, look at some of the specs because there are pros and cons to each. A51 right. has a larger display. Uh, A51 has a greater battery capacity. A51 has a 48 megapixel camera, but it also has two five megapixel cameras, whereas the S10 has a 12, a 12, and a 16 ultra wide. Well, this is kind of similar to the iPhone 10s versus or 10 versus SE2, in that one of these was a flagship phone, mm -hmm. the S10, top of the line phone, and the A51 is designed as a not top of the line phone, right. a cheaper alternative. So I personally would go with the S10. I would personally go with the iPhone 10 over the SE2 or the A51 5G. Yep, so check out all these phones in the description section below. Compare them head to head on yep. phone.com. Yeah, and really just let us know what your decision is. And if you have any other questions, we're happy to answer them and maybe steer you in the right direction. Just be careful if you go on eBay to make sure that the seller that you're buying from is a trusted seller and has a lot of five-star reviews. Mm -hmm. Nobody has a perfect rating, but you should be able to get somewhere around 4.9 stars. And then you can get a great deal on a phone. And we actually pocket yeah. an extra $150, you know? Yeah, exactly. Pocket it. Put it toward a care. Put it toward a cell phone plan. Perfect. Yeah.